This is breaking news. That breaking news, the Indiana Department of Natural Resources have called off their recovery efforts after crews found a man dead after he went underwater at Lake Monroe in Bloomington this afternoon. Our news aide Julia Dang has been following the hours long recovery effort. And Julia, what can you tell us? Jenny, we got that uh, breaking update from DNR minutes ago. Dive teams found that drowning victim late tonight in Allen's Creek where he had been boating with his family. Witnesses reported he fell in the water around 3.30 in the afternoon. And campers out there say they're not surprised it took hours to find him. Based on the way the water is moving. You know, the water is really high right now. Clay Rayleigh visits Allen's Creek at Lake Monroe a few times a year. Set up a little camp there. He enjoyed his holiday weekend on the water. As rescue divers frantically looked for a possible drowning victim, in the same creek. We got side scan sonar out there and divers. The call came in as divers resumed another water recovery in the White River. Authorities rushed to Lake Monroe and promptly shut down a boat ramp. Nearly a dozen DNR trucks and sheriff's units lined a road leading to Allen's Creek. Quite a few. Yeah, we have several boats out, probably four to five, and then uh, uh, each of them have several people. It's unclear if the missing man had a life jacket on or what he was doing before he went underwater around 3.30. We're life jackets. They do save lives. Clay says the water isn't only high, but rushing in a way that could complicate a recovery effort. If it was always going one way, then you might be able to uh, judge where somebody might be. But it's going back and forth, you know. And this is the third drowning recovery we've covered in three days. Divers have not yet located the White River kayaker who went missing yesterday or the four year old Delphi boy who was swept away on Thursday. Live in the studio, Julia Dang, Wish TV News 8.